Stranger Things 4 has been out for a little while now. And I haven't had a chance to watch it because I really wanted to watch it with Katarina. But she hasn't seen any of the seasons. So for the last couple of weeks, we've been binging seasons one through three. And now we have just started four, which I think they have taken to a whole other level. With season four and all the other seasons, it has put me into that original creative space that I think a lot of us fell in love with when we first saw the first season. So I thought it would be really fun to go out and shoot something inspired by the Stranger Things vibe and look using one camera and one lens. So that's what I'm filming with right now, actually. It's the Sony a7 IV on the 20 millimeter G. And I thought that I would use the camera using its full frame mode and its super 35 crop mode, also known as APS-C. So I'll throw up a couple clips of the scene that we shot and I'll mark uh, which ones I used for what focal length. Now I chose the 20 obviously because I wanted some wide establishing looking shots. And then I put it into the super 35 mode, which essentially puts the 20 millimeter at 35 millimeters. And I think that's a really great looking focal length that is sort of a medium shot. And it'll give you just a tiny bit more compression, but for that specific shot of shooting through the glass of the phone booth, I thought it would be helpful to have sort of that compression. Right now, Kat and I are heading out to find the phone booth that we want to use. Because even though there's a lot of phone booths in Berlin, not all of them are working, the lights aren't working, or it doesn't have the glass divider, which I really need for one particular shot. So we, we're heading to one where we have scouted and we know that it will most likely work. So this is the phone booth that we decide to use. I'm gonna film it with the 20 millimeter G, like I said, but I'm gonna use the full frame mode and the Super 35 crop to get different compressions on there. And I wanted to pick this one specifically because of this glass divider and I wanted to use an element of it to kind of give some suspense. Yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. And I guess I'll come back after you guys have a look. Was it perfect? No. But what I like about these creative case studies or challenges is it really allows you to take a step back and critique your work. And when you do that, it really shows the things that you're really great at and the things that you can improve on and the things that you're not so great at. And in this instance, for me, I realized that even though I was pretty happy with the overall look, I got, in my opinion, sort of close to that Stranger Things color and the vibe and the tones. But for sure, I have to work on my ability to color grade darker S Log 3 scenes. And the other challenge I was working with is they had these overhead street lights that were very, very orange. And so that was a challenge that I think on a film set you're not really gonna deal with, but for me, since I was just doing it for fun, that was such a challenge to get the white balance right. So in camera, it was all over the place. Even though I had set it to a custom white balance, trying to get that final look required a lot more work. But it was fun building this five shot scene. I think it's really great to work on doing these types of scenes so that when you get good at that, that 
putting all those little sequences together can help you create a longer film down the road. The thing that I definitely would have changed is I would have shot it way later in the evening, like at midnight or something, because the only time that uh, Katrina and I were able to go out and do this and have her help me was right at 6 p.m. during rush hour. So that area is an extremely busy area. There was just people crossing through the frame. So for me, it was challenging to get into a really good flow state with my shooting. But yeah, I want to know, what did you think? What did you like? What didn't you like? What could I have done better? What could I have done differently? What would you have done differently? I'd love to know your opinion because that's the only way I'm going to ever improve. And I always love getting some positive critiques and criticisms. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope it, again, brought you some value. Like I hope all the videos I make try to do. And if it did, please like, share, subscribe, all those things. It really helps out uh, the channel and helps me continue to make these videos for you guys. And as always, Live passionately and stay inspired.